Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we are going to be creating some sparkle lettering in Procreate. So what you see on screen is exactly what we're going to be creating together. This is an animation using Procreate 5's animation assist. So if you haven't upgraded to Procreate 5 yet, make sure you have in order to follow along exactly. So I'm going to jump into Procreate and create a brand new document that is 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels at 300 DPI. So I'll meet you there. All right, I've got my brand new document all ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is drop in a background color. So our background color is going to be this gray color, this first one right here. This color palette is available for free right in the video description. So just click in there and you can have it as an instant download. So I'm going to head into my layers palette, tap on background color and select the second gray color right here. And now we're going to lay down our lettering. So come back to your layers palette and on layer one, we're going to start with this mustard color. And the brush that I'm using is my monomark brush. This is part of my Font Lovers Procreate brush set. You can find a link to it right in the video description. So I'm just going to write out so shiny. Okay, so I've got my lettering all set. You'll notice that I put so on its own layer and I've got shiny on its own layer because I wanna add a 3D effect to my shiny. If you wanna learn more about creating 3D lettering effects, I have an entire course on it. I'll leave a link in the video description if you wanna check that out. So I'm going to show you my basic method of creating a 3D letter. And what you do is you tap on your lettering that you would like to convert into being 3D and you're going to hit select, create a new layer right above it, drag that layer underneath it and and then grab a darker color. So in this case, it's the fourth color right here that kind of blends in with the palette, but there is a color right here. So tap on that color, come back to your layers, tap on the layer thumbnail and choose fill layer. Now I have a layer that has that same lettering, only it's the darker color. And with that layer, I'm going to tap on my magic wand and choose motion blur and then just drag it out just slightly. So I'm at about 20% here. And then I'm going to tap on this layer and choose select, come back to the layer, tap on it and choose fill layer. And I'm going to do that three times. Select, fill layer, select, fill layer. And I'm going to select it one more time, come over to my brush library, navigate down to airbrushing, choose my hard airbrush, which is a default brush, and then just paint it in one more time. And that will sharpen up those edges. Okay. And now I can deselect, grab my selection tool and drag this over to the left until everything lines up. Okay, and then the last final step is just adding an additional shadow so it looks like it's on a wall and the sun's hitting it one way and then the extrusion is the opposite way. So in order to apply that, we need to return back to our extrusion layer, which is this layer right here. And I'm going to select it, create a brand new layer, drag that layer underneath it and now I'm going to fill the layer with this darkest color. So I'm going to select that dark color, tap on the layer thumbnail and choose fill layer. And now I need to point the direction of the shadow in the opposite way. So I'm going to come over to my magic wand, choose motion blur again, and then just drag it about 20% the opposite way. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did before. I'm going to tap on it, choose select, tap on it, choose fill layer. And I'm going to do this three times. Okay, and I'm not going to go over it one more time with the airbrush, with the hard airbrush because I kind of want to keep those softer edges since this is more of a shadow than an extrusion. So I'm going to grab it and move it into place. Okay, and then all I have to do is reduce the opacity so it looks more like a shadow. So bring this down to 20%. All right, and then I'm just going to add an inline to this. So on top of my shiny lettering layer right here, create a brand new layer. And then I'm going to grab the same color as the background. So this second color right here, this gray, and then grab my mono marker, which is part of that font lover set right here. I'm going to reduce the size down to about 28% and then just draw those inlines. So now that we have our lettering all prepared, now comes the fun part of animating that sparkle or glitter effect. So what we wanna do is group everything that we've done so far together. So tap on the top layer and then just drag all the other layers to the right and then choose group. And now we wanna go over to our animation assist. So tap on your wrench, go to canvas and turn on animation assist. 
And what we're going to do is first set this as a background. So tap on the little thumbnail right here and toggle over background. So this will lock it into place so it stays in the exact same place for the entire animation. And next we're going to come over to settings. We're going to reduce the onion skin opacity down to 30%. We're going to reduce the frames per second down to 10. And then we're going to select ping pong down here. And that should be all set for now. Now we're going to come over and create a brand new layer and change our color to our white. And we're going to use one of the default brushes in Procreate. So you're gonna come down to the category called luminance and select the light pen. And what you're going to do is draw some sparkles in just randomly. So I like drawing like a cross and then you connect these points and that will give you like a star that you can then color in. You can do little pluses and then you can also do little dots here and there. So I kind of do a mixture of those. You don't want to fill up too much of it because we still need to add these sparkles on two other layers. So we want to leave enough space. That way it looks like it's sparkling in different areas at the same time. So I'm just going to sporadically put these little details all through the lettering. So this is my first layer that has sparkle. So now I'm going to create another layer right above it. And we're actually going to group these together. So toggle your kind of sparkle or glitter layer over to the right, as well as this brand new layer and hit group. And now we can see what we're adding by referencing what we've already drawn. So on this brand new layer, I'm going to continue drawing extra sparkles in different places. Okay, and now we can see what we've added compared to what we did before. And you just wanna make sure that there's a good balance, that you've got some kind of detail on every single letter, which I have right here. And now we wanna do this one more time. So add another layer right above the previous one, and we're just going to draw in some additional details. Okay, and now we can compare. Let me turn off the other ones, just make sure I've got a good balance throughout. That looks pretty good, except I see I have kind of a repetition right here, which I don't like. So I'm going to remove this one and maybe draw something that's similar down here. And let's see what that looks like. Now I have one here. Definitely needs something around here, so maybe I'll add some pluses. Okay, so I like that a lot better. All right, so now we have three different layers that have different quantities of sparkles on every single one of them. And in order to achieve this kind of sparkling glitter effect, what we wanna do is have different opacities of each one of these or different transparencies of each of these groups and it's going to change over time very gradually. So we need to have a different starting point of opacities for each one and then it's going to move from there. So this bottom one, I'm going to say that this one is going to start at 100%, so max opacity, and it's going to reduce over time time. So I'm going to label this one decrease. That way I can kind of keep a mental note that this one is always going to decrease in transparency. This one's going to start at the halfway point. So I'm going to bring this down to 50% and just call this one halfway. And that means this one's going to increase over time. So I'm going to start this one at 20%. I don't want it to be all the way at zero because I want you to always be able to see the different parts of this layer. I just want them to start out a really low opacity. So I'm going to bring this down to 20% and just label this one increase. Okay, so this is our very first group and now we wanna duplicate this group. So slide it to the left and choose duplicate. And now what we're going to do is come to our decrease layer. We're going to reduce this by 10% at a time. So this one's gonna go down 10%. Our halfway is going to go up 10%, or you could go down if you want. I like going up. This one's going to be at 60%. And then the increase one is going to go up by 10%. So now this one's at 30. So the increments we have right here is 30, 60, and 90. And now we're going to do the exact same thing on a new group. So drag this to the left, choose duplicate, toggle it down on the decrease one. Now we're going to go down to 80. Halfway one's gonna come up to 70. So just remember you're always changing it by 10% increments. And then the increase one's gonna go up to 40%. So I'm going to continue this until my decrease layer is all the way down to 20% where my increase layer began. So I'm going to speed up the video and continue doing this until that bottom layer, this decrease layer, going in 10% increments once it's down to 20%.
Okay, my halfway one is now all the way at the max. So once you reach the max and you need to do another 10% increment, start going backwards. So down to 90% on this, and I'm going to keep going backwards now. Okay, so now I'm all set. So my increase layer is at max and my decrease layer is at 20%. So basically these two have reversed now. So now we can preview our animation. So I'm going to zoom out so we can see it and I'm going to hit play. And because it ping pongs, it goes all the way through the animation and then it goes back. So it goes back and forth, you can see down here. So that allows it to fade in and fade out constantly. And if it feels like it's too fast, just come to your settings and reduce the frames per second. So I'm gonna come down to eight frames here and let's see what that looks like. So that looks really good. So we are all set to export our animation. And, and in order to do that, you need to decide if this is going to go on Instagram or not. If you're posting this to Instagram, you have to export it as an animated MP4 and it has to be at least three seconds long. So if your duration isn't long enough, just reduce your frames per second down here and that will slow the animation and then it will be longer. So in order to export it, all you're going to do is hit your wrench icon up here, come to share, choose animated MP4, and you can see it's going to animate right here. When you're happy with it, you can preview different frames per second if you like, and then just hit export. So that is how to create animated sparkle lettering 100% in Procreate with a 3D effect thrown in. Once again, links to everything mentioned in this tutorial are right in the video description, including the brushes that we use, that free color palette, as well as a link to my 3D lettering and Procreate course if you'd like to learn more about 3D lettering. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new tutorials just like this one in the future. For more design and lettering tutorials and freebies, head on over to my site, every-tuesday.com. You can also find me over on Instagram. My handle is every Tuesday. If you try this out and post it there, I would love it if you tag me. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.